Uh, my name is Logan Smoke. I'm from Linden, Texas. You guys probably have no idea where that's from. And it's about four hours from here, northeast Texas, very tiny town, not much there. So you don't have to go visit, it's fine. Um, yeah, I grew up with a family that was always going to church. Um, that was never really an issue, church every Sunday. Um, and at about 10 years old, I gave my life to Christ. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into, didn't know what God had in store for my life. But I knew at that moment, at 10, that I wanted to like step into that. Um, so, like I said, my family was in church um, on Sundays. It was, it was a pretty nice area, not much to do besides, you know, go to church or go to school. It's a small town. Um, but as I grew up and got older, I started playing sports. And with that, I kind of put God on a Sunday shelf. Um, I didn't really see him, talk to him, hear from him during the week because I was so wrapped up in what I was doing athletically. Um, so every Sunday, I was in church, praising him, worshiping, but every, uh, every other day, didn't really have much contact. Um, and it put me like in a place of not really knowing like what direction I was going, who I was, uh, what to rely on or lean on, because like I didn't have that relationship built. Um, that was probably like most of junior high and high school. Um, like I said, I was an athlete in high school, like most of you guys are. You wouldn't be here if you weren't here for your sports. Uh, sports are incredible. It's a great avenue. Uh, I, I love them. Obviously, I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Um, but if you ask me who I was, I always said, Hi, I'm Logan Smoke, and I'm a seven-sport athlete. Um, in high school, I played seven sports. Yeah, it's, it was a lot. That was crazy. Uh, my body literally hates me now for it. Uh, I have, like, back problems. I walk like I'm 80 sometimes, so... I have a lot of issues from that now, but um, in high school I played seven sports, four years strong, um, but that's all I did. Uh, I had to get, I'd write a letter to the state of Texas asking to miss more school, because most weeks I was only in school two to three days. I had so many tournaments, games, uh, outside things that I was never in class. Um, after school, when I did go to school, I had three practices a night. I would go from to school till about 3.30, and then 3.30 to about 5.30, I'd go to track practice, run in the heat, then go to softball practice about 7.30, and then 7.30 to 9.30 or 10, I'd go to tennis. And then finally go home and go to sleep, and, or eat, actually, and then go to sleep. Um, but, like I said, if I introduced myself, I was the athlete. For some reason, I always put the in front of it. It made me feel important. Um, everything I did involved athletics. That's who I became. My identity was completely as an athlete. And with my identity being an athlete, my worth also was in athletics. Um, if I played well, I felt great. If I ran well, felt awesome. Everything was good. That week was gonna be an okay week. But if I did poor on the court, then my life just like went to shambles. Um, I felt like alone, I felt worthless, I felt like I had nothing to offer the world without my athletic ability. Um, I felt like I couldn't do anything else right. I put all this hard work into it, I was practicing all the time, and yet I still couldn't get it right if I couldn't perform in the, like, during the game. And it just took a toll on me. You guys know highs and lows with athletics. It's gonna be a roller coaster sometimes. There's gonna be wins and losses, bumps and bruises. All the things your coaches tell you about playing the sport, it's tough, it's not easy. We'd all, like everyone would do it if it was easy. Um, but I got so wrapped up in it, so wrapped up that I couldn't see anything outside of athletics. That's all that I thought, it's all I could see, all I like dreamt about at night, mainly because I'd just come from three practices um, and I was still running over stuff that I just learned or worked on. But that's all that I focused on and God was nowhere inside of that. I had so much pride in myself and who I was or who I thought I was. Um, and my ability. I gave no glory to God. I didn't ever like give him just little shout outs, nothing. It was all about me, the talent that I thought I gave myself when it was really God given. Um, and I thought that I had something to offer the world on my own through my athletics. So that was all of me through high school. Um, come to college. I went to college to play uh, volleyball, like you said. And I had just gotten off this high of being this stud athlete in high school. You know, I thought I was awesome. I was one of the best in my school, small school, so you know. Um, and then I get to college. And if you make it to college athletics, like everyone there is good. You don't make it to college athletics without being good or doing something right in your sport. So I went from being one of the best to all of a sudden everyone that was just as good as me, if not better. Um, and I went from being like the stud athlete to all of a sudden I was on the bench. I wasn't getting any playing time. I wasn't uh, shining like I was like had or thought I should. And for someone who had their entire identity 
in athletics, it shattered me. Um, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know who, like, what could define me because what defined me was just taken away. And I felt alone. I felt worthless. I felt like all the hard work I just put in for 18 years meant nothing. Um, so because of that, I wanted something to cling to. I looked for something outside of, of sports to give me a little hope because I was in a dark place. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't have any passion anymore. It was totally gone. Um, and that was me just like robbing myself because I, I had passion in myself. It wasn't an outside passion. I was, I was passionate because I was good. That's what, that's what made me passionate. So um, freshman year of college, a couple of my friends and I actually, a huddle leader here, Allison, she helped me out with that as well. We went in and started FCA at my college. Um, I didn't really know what I was looking for, what, like, what answers I was searching out, but I knew that I needed something that wasn't going to fade away, and athletics just wasn't giving it to me. Um, so throughout college, FCA played a huge role in my life. Um, we started at my college. I ended up going to California and working on staff and interning um, out in California where I learned that Jesus is my identity. Um, as soon as I step into that and claim him rather than who I am, I become a whole new creation. I uh, no longer feel worthless because he gives me worth. I no longer feel alone because he is with me. Um, I don't feel like because I messed up that I have no hope whatsoever because I'm going to fail. I'm, I'm failure. That's what happens. Um, but he says like that he's with me. He never forsakes me and his grace is sufficient for me and covers all over that. So I went from being just this athlete. That's all I was known for. That's all I claimed to be. To all of a sudden, I am a daughter of the king. Like, just take that in. You are a son and daughter of the king. Like, if that doesn't give you some kind of worth and purpose. So, in Matthew, uh, Jesus talks about two different men. One is wise and obedient to God, and he builds his house on rock. So when the storms come, the house isn't shaken. It's built on a really, really firm foundation. This other man is, like, is foolish and disobedient to God, and he builds his house on sand. So as soon as a storm comes in, the house just washes away. Um, guys, when you tell you, when you put your identity in Christ, and you claim that his dying on the cross was good enough for your life, you build your house on a firm foundation. And as soon as the storms of life that come like at you, because they will come at you, you don't waver. You're not shaken by the storms of the earth because you're on a firm foundation. You're on the rock, Jesus. Um, but if you continue to put your worth and your hope and your identity and your athleticism in your body and your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your family, your best friend, whatever it is right now that you are clinging to and drawing your identity from, it's going to fail you because we're all human. Uh, we're all sinners by nature. The only thing that won't fail is Jesus. This year, um, I'm a coach at a high school. I just finished my first year of coaching. Uh, it was crazy insane being on this side of sports now. Uh, so I have a lot more respect for you guys in the back who've been doing it a lot longer than I have. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can get it off your coaches in the back. <laughs> um, this year, we had a phenomenal volleyball season. Going into the state tournament, we had 46 wins and zero losses. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I was in shock myself, so I know when you hear that, it's like, whoa, that's pretty cool. I was thinking the same thing. Um, unfortunately, our season did not end there. We played one game in the state tournament and lost. So we went to 46 and won. I know, it's, I know, it was sad for me too, believe me. <laughs> um, but if high school me, if that would have happened to high school me, I would have been completely done for. Um, I would have felt like all the memories we made this season, all the fun times, all the hard work, all the effort, everything we put into those 46 wins, I would have thought, like, I would have called that a loss because we lost one game. But it's not. If you have your hope and your identity in Jesus, one loss is not going to shake you. You're going to say, man, that really hurt and that sucked, but I'm still who I am. I'm still a daughter of the king. And that, you can't take that away with a loss. When you build your house on a firm foundation, you're not shaken by what the world throws at you. You 
you got the rock right next to you. I'm not talking about Dwayne Johnson, I'm talking about Jesus, the actual rock. <laughs> Y'all, sports are so fun. It is so awesome to love your sport, to want to be great at your sport. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. So I don't want you to think, oh man, I can't be good at my sport. Totally go for it. Put all you have into it. But it's when our sport becomes like a god to us. When we put all of our identity into that sport and expect us to give eternal life from that. Being good at a sport is not going to get you into heaven. Being a good friend is not going to get you into heaven. Being a good daughter, a sister, brother, whatever you are, doesn't get you into heaven. Jesus gets you into heaven, guys. you got to rely on the rock and accept him as your identity. Um, so I am, I'm a sister, I'm a coach, I was an athlete, I'm a, I'm a lot of things, but above all of those, I'm a daughter of the King, and I feel like that's worthy of my name. Yeah.